What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Sword and I'm about to show you guys the guy I was talking about adding to my team. I wanted my Dragon Ghost type and this is Dragapult who is the pseudo legendary for the Gala region. Um, his stats are pretty beefy if you want to see them and I got lucky enough to move over to the area where you can find them and saw it like instantly when I was over in the grass area so I ended up just fighting him catching him and then I used a rare candy just to boost him one level to get him to his last form because I caught him in his second form and GP is its first form but oh our trade completed since now I can trade so let's start off with a surprise trade for the Feebas I think other than Feebas now I'm also gonna do trades for the Dreepies I don't know, I like to I like to trade these low percentage Pokemon like that. I don't really need a whooper. Oh maybe I did. But okay guys, let's get this started. This is the final match against the champion, the championship match. Are you ready to face Leon? Then change it to your uniform and head out onto the pitch. Yeah, I'm really anxious for how this is going to go. Um, I'm still going to start off with Toxtricity, because I don't know what his starting Pokemon is going to be. But I know it's not going to be Charizard. But for Charizard, I have Toxtricity, Milotic, and possibly even Colossus to deal with that. My matches are always sold out, but this? I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Blades. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Gala region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help my winning streak. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong your champion truly is. Come on now, Blades. Let's make this the final match that'll go down in Gala's history. No, a match that'll change Galar forever. We're gonna have an absolutely champion time. Oof, let's see uh, how things go for us. Oh, snap. And you start off with Agi Slash. It's one of the duties of the champion to get the crowd fired up. Sixty-two. I probably should have leveled my team up some more. I wasn't expecting Shadow Ball to do that much damage. Oh dang, you did a lot on him too. Oh man. Aiming for super effective hits is a sure far way to claim victory. You got it. A super effective hit? I'd expect nothing less from your team. Okay, Rillaboom hitting level 60. Oh, you got Haxers? But he probably has something to combat fairy types with Haxorus. 
Maybe he has poison jab. Yep. He has a steel move, of course. Oh, it would be a crit. I did not need a critical hit. Come on. That was not how I wanted to show him off. It's funny because all the Pokemon has said I was going to have an answer for his Charles. Oh, now you have one? Honestly, I don't even know. I think I'll send Rillaboom out and work on reviving. <laughs> But his Dragapult might throw her. I don't know, we're kind of just taking one for the team. Yep. If mine knows Flamethrower, then yours has to know Flamethrower. Appreciate that Rillaboom sticking it out for us. This would have been the perfect time to have Sucker Punch, I think. I got rid of Sucker Punch. Wait, no. I think I stopped Sucker Punch. No, yeah, no, I got rid of Sucker Punch. <laughs> Gosh, everything's going great for him. Ooh, Cinderace. He probably taught his Cinderace like Thunder Punch or something now. But I'm not gonna lie, I want Rillaboom to get some EXP, so I don't... 64? I 
acrobatics. Huh? What? Dang, that did so much. Yeah, use that, use that full restore. Seismitoad. Okay, yeah, now this would have been like a, a perfect time to have Rillaboom out there. So I think I'm gonna lose Dra Dragapult? Because honestly... Honestly, Rillaboom will come in clutch for the time score. But I'm not gonna lie, Leon has a nice team. And they're nicely leveled. I thought I was over leveling myself, so that's why I didn't go out and like train up. But it looks like they kind of tricked you in the end. So I'm thinking about is when it's time to Dynamax, I gotta send my load account. Let's see what level his Charizard is. I'm not finished having a champion time here and I won't let anyone else finish it for me. Okay, 6 to 5. Let's see how this battle goes for us. I'll show you what Charizard really can do. It's Gigantamax time. Okay, yeah, that looks amazing. You know, wow, I wasn't expecting him to do that. I 
Okay, he's charged. I can take one more hit. Honestly, the beginning of this battle had me shook. I wasn't ready for his Aegis Slash to put in work like that. Man, and we got a crit on it. A critical hit. Ha! Huh. Pretty good challenger. Did it, guys? He just did what Ash does. My time as champion is over, but what a champion time it's been. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. with this, the, the black screen. Is Charizard in an Ultra Ball? Congratulations, Blades. You've beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You've become a first-rate trainer, all right. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking ahead of myself. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now for the sake of all that's to come. And you, Blades, what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep on blasting ahead in order to create that bright future we all hope to see. People of Galar, here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Blades. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. Dang, guys, and that was it. That was good. I wonder if I can go past these credits, though. I don't know if I can, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna wait and see if there's, <laughs> yo, oh man, that is like the ultimate like rock band setup, <laughs> Obstagoon, two of the Toxtricities and Arillaboom. <laughs> that cutscene's actually nice, but I'm probably just gonna end up cutting out most of this just so we can see if there's like an after scene because what I typically do when I end video games is I end up cutting it short doing my outro and then there's always a cutscene I have to go back to and start recording so we're gonna try to avoid that up oh, I called it guys cutscene at the end oh that's all they did okay maybe I didn't call it Oh, but... Congratulations, champion. Here, I've got a little something for you, a celebration. Oh, we got a Master Ball. So they must... This must mean they're about to tell us to go capture, um, Zacian. Professor Magnolia, what? You didn't have to come all this way. After everything Blaze has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamax impossible are parts of Eternatus. And when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across the, all the gather. But Blade and his friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of the Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamax incorrectly in the days to come. So, young Blades, please do what you believe is best. I mean, okay. 
Poor Professor Magnolia, it seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped carry out so much of the research into Dynamaxing for him. Yeah, maybe. I think we all know what we have to do with this Pokeball. Well, first let me make sure my team's good. Yep. Let's try to get there as fast as possible. And Grubbin getting in the way is not going to help. Leon again. That was to me just like a really good a really good match to do. I don't know, what do you guys think? Ah, Hop is here. Huh, Blades, what are you doing here in the woods? You say you felt like something was calling you here? That's mate, that's pretty uncanny. I've been thinking, you know, maybe the reason Zacian and Zamazenta chose a place like this to sleep was because no one ever comes here and it's so quiet all the time. Oh, but I hadn't had the chance to tell you congratulations on your victory. Honestly, Blades, I never thought you'd manage to beat my brother, the greatest champion Galar ever had. He was undefeatable till you came around. He's actually still pretty hard to believe. Really, you're amazing, Blades. So amazing. Maybe I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. Blades, do you think... Would you be up for one more battle? Oh, man. Okay, guys. I'm going to end this episode off right here. If I keep going, this is going to be a pretty long episode, and I don't want it to come to that. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot, and also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp. Later.